Reet, I'm coming at you from me mother's back garden the day. Reason behind this is because I've got a point to prove. Pretty much every time me and Sand are out, people approach you and say, I would love to come to your classes or I would um, love to do your YouTube channel workouts, but they're just too hard. Potentially they might not be watching the full YouTube video because every week we give options. And on your first session at FF, the first thing we do is get you in the office and ask you about your previous training history. So I thought rather than just repeating myself over and over, I'm going to show you. If my old mother can do these exercises, you can. Four exercises, 30 seconds of pop, and then you get 30 seconds break after exercise four. I swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Five, four, three, yes, lateral squat jumps, use your options, keep moving for 30 seconds, whichever option, depth and height, if you want to make it more difficult, miss the impact to make it easier. 10 seconds, then you go into oblique thrust. Try and see it through with the beep, yeah? Body weight forward, thumbs down. So we don't want to arch your back, but we also don't want the bum lifting. Gel your legs together, jump outside the elbow, and then back to center. So Emma, start center rather than side. Watch, start center. Kick your legs out now, now side, now center, now side. Yes, got it. Now challenge on. Can anyone stay without dropping to their knees and go into exercise three now? So only drop to your knees if you need that break. Your challenge is 60 seconds where we stay on the hands. Bum down on your planks. Stevie, just a touch. Flatty, just a touch. Emma, just a touch. Body weight forward, check your hand position, get your shoulders over the top. So this is where it gets hard, you've been on your hands and upper body for 50 seconds, you've got to hang in for another few, and then we'll go max effort sprint, knees up, yes, go! This is the hard bit because your legs are burning, your heart rate's up and your arms are burning, but you still got to go as hard as you can on high knees, use your options. And you got 20 seconds of reps, and that's one round done. Can we take up one gear? 10 seconds. Rest, good work. Keep your feet moving, get a swig. 30 seconds break, that's one round done. Should have felt that, should have felt quite tough that. Legs, upper body, and then your cardio to finish. Good effort. 20 second break left. So think big jumps, then stay strong on the middle exercises, and then fast on your last one. Right here, we got eight seconds on the clock. Back straight, step, yes. Right, now gives more height. More height. While keeping the back straight, use their arms to generate more power. Yeah, take that, Helen. Get up. Now higher. Get up. Effort. Now keep your form until the beep. Challenge on after this exercise. Obliques, go. Right, this is the minute where I want you to get stuck in. Try not to drop to your knees until the minute's up. So you're going to transition from exercise two to exercise three without dropping to your knees if you can. There's option two. Body weight forward, back straight. Yes, Kels, keep going, keep going. Outside, centre, outside, love it. Good way, Blackie, stay there, stay there. Try and get right outside if you can. That's all right, Jackie, good technique. Low plank position, try not to drop to your knees. Drop me, shoulders and triceps are burning. Try and stay with it, get your bum down, body weight 
forward. Ten seconds and your upper body gets to rest and we'll go cardio. Sprint! Knees, chest, arms. Take us, Jen. Knees! Halfway! Nice, Stevie. Nice, Stevie. Yeah, we got him. Ten. Knees. Knees. You get a break on the beep. Take us, Helen. Great work. Tough two minutes that. Swig, breathe, two left. That first one was just a trial and error warm up. <laughs> right, 10 seconds to go again, that's halfway, you've got two more sets. Keep your form, them knees were class at the end, everyone, well done. Here we go. Back straight. Three, two, one, let's go. So your depth will depend on your air range of movement. Tightness in your hamstring and hips, just do what you can with the depth. Most important thing, keeping the back straight, use your options. Here we go, 20 seconds left, round three. If you want to make it harder, we'll go bigger movements. Nice, Emma. On back, generate the power. Chest up. Wall up, up. Drop the bleaks. All right, Helen. Let's go. Outside. Center. Outside. Shoulders over hands. Don't arch your back on the kick out. Now give it a bit more pace. Effort. Come down the touch. Can we go straight into exercise three? Wait for Helen. Keep going. Keep going. Helen, don't drop. Don't drop. You got this one, Ellie. There. Right now, you go straight in. Low plank. Up. Come down. Great work. Now control your breathing while you're in that position. Big deep breaths. That's an effort, that mate. Keep going, keep going. Don't drop, you haven't got long left. High knees coming up on the beep, stay with it. Bums down. Eight, seven, Helen. You there, you there. Yes, knees. Quality that, yeah, we got knees, knees, knees. Go on, Nick, go on, Nick, hold the lower, go on, carry knees up. There we go, there we go. Right, now keep that technique. Push the pace. You get your rest after this, and you only got one set left. Ten seconds on the clock. Five, four. Rest. Well done. Last round coming up, 30 seconds break, well done. Morning. <laughs> right, here we go. 15 seconds, keep your feet tapping, get a swig, big deep breaths. Last chance. Keep going, keep going, Karen. Stay with it, you haven't got long. Nobody drop, straight in exercise three, wait for it. Low flag, the high flag, don't drop your knees. Up. Bums down.
bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Right, Ellie. And rest. Class, everyone, well done. Session. Relax.